Hey, so this is pretty early. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm trying to get all the stuff out today, just trying to finally bury the hatchet with the show. Because I sort of have, like, a one-track mind. Like, I can't do anything else until something else is done. <laughs> like, I, like, I've been plotting my new show for, like, ever. Like, a couple months. Like, ever since it was delayed, or, like, the second time it was delayed, I was like, all right, all right. So this is gonna, like, hold up the show. And then, as soon as Sora vs. Dante pretty much got delayed, because I can't find anyone to do that one, um, I was like, alright, I can't, I can't handle trying to look for animators every episode. I've just gotta take a step back and think of something where I don't rely on other people. So, but, the thing is, I was brainstorming all these ideas, I just couldn't produce it because I was still stuck trying to, like, well, this is still here, what am I gonna do with it? So I'm like, you know what, I'll just release it. I'll just get the commentary done, I'll get the update done, I'll get all this stuff done, so I can move on. Otherwise, my one-track mind is going to be stuck at this one stop. Toot toot! The train wants to go. Thinking train. The train of thought. That's what it was. The train of thought. That's the analogy I was looking for. Like, the train of thought was parked here, and it needed to toot toot go! <laughs> so anyways, about this matchup. Fictional Fights was made for this matchup. Like, before I even started Fictional Fights, I was researching this because I've been requesting Death Battle to do it so many times. And I'm actually kind of thankful that Death Battle didn't do it. Like, after seeing how Season 3 went with Death Battle so far, I'm kind of glad. Because they probably would have messed up the lore, the messed up the stats, and all that kind of stuff. I already know, even though I th agreed Toph wins Gaara vs. Toph, I still see now that they missed a lot of stuff on Gaara. Like, Gaara is my favorite Naruto character now. I have to thank, I have to thank Death Battle for getting me into my favorite anime, though. Because it was after Gaara vs. Toph when I got into versus debating, and then I was like, Oh, Jin vs. Sasuke, because they're both emo. <laughs> so, in two, 2015... I started watching the original Naruto anime and all that just to get caught up in all that stuff. Because I wanted to do Jin vs. Sasuke myself. So, yeah. It all started in 2015. And I wasn't done with it yet. So, that's why I started the show with Jin vs. Ryu. Because I wanted to do a versus debate show. And I wanted... And I, Sasuke vs. Jin was definitely the number one fight I wanted for it. But the issue was, I wasn't done researching at the time, so it ended up being Jin versus Ryu, even though Jin completely stomped Ryu. And so, then 26 went on, and then my opinions of both characters changes as more research came up. Like, Jin got a huge upgrade in my eyes through some new feats that I didn't even pay attention to, that someone else actually pointed out to me. Like, um, the guys behind Fatal Fiction made, made um, a video called Top 100 Strongest Video Game Protagonists. And Jin was on there. He was pretty early on the list. He wasn't in, like, the top 50 or anything. He was, like, 92, I think. I don't remember what number it was, but he was in the 90s at, like, con large country level. I'm like, what the heck? I thought he was, like, only mountain or city level. What on earth? So then I asked them why, and they pointed out the all this kind of crazy country level feats that Jack does that Jin completely scales to. Because since Jin is completely superior to him. And then my mind was blown, and I was like, what about the massively hypersonic speed? And then they told me about it, I calculated it myself, and I got the exact same results, and boom, bada boom, bada boom. And then I discovered even deeper and found all these, like, multi-continent, possible planet-level statements and feats and all that stuff, and I was like, whoa, where's the spin all my life? And then I heard Sasuke was pretty OP by the end of Shippuden, so I was like, alright, alright. So I go to Death Battle Fan on Wiki. I find someone had already started a Jin vs. Sasuke page, but it wasn't done, so I couldn't see their side of the research. So I decided to give my opinions in the comments below to see if I could find someone with Sasuke who could... to find uh, someone rooting for Sasuke who could defeat me in a debate. So I debated on there, Jin vs. Sasuke, and I couldn't... I don't know. All the stuff they stated was stuff I already knew about Sasuke, so, there wasn't anything new that popped up, so I'm like, alright, so no one on here can make Sasuke beat Jin. I'll have to finish watching myself and see, because the, my plan for fictional fights was, I was, like, after I started the show, and I did Jin vs. Ryu first, and I found out I was going to end Season 1 with Jin vs. Sasuke, I'm like, oh, I'm going to start 
I'm going to start season one and then end season one with the winner of the start of season one. And I'm like, hey, I should do that with season two also. So instead of keeping Jin the champion, I was kind of hoping, I was like, maybe Sasuke will dethrone Jin as champion and then the season two finale will be Sasuke versus someone and then that someone will end up dethroning Sasuke. But the research didn't exactly go that way because I kept hearing all these things like Sasuke super OP, Sasuke's OP. But the thing is, the way Jin works, he's like a perfect count. He's like a hard counter to Sasuke. Like Sasuke's strongest attributes is his like mind manipulation and mind control, and he can steal souls and all that. The thing is, though, Jin has resistance to that. Like Jin specifically has resistance to mind and soul manipulation. So Sasuke's strongest attributes would not mess with Jin. Same with lightning and fire. Like Sasuke um, has great strengths in lightning and fire manipulation. But so does Jin, and Jin is very resistant to it. Plus, Jin also has a healing factor. Jin has telekinesis, which Sasuke has no resistance to. So, Jin has resistance to all of Sasuke's best things. Meanwhile, Sasuke has no resistance to all of Jin's best things. So, there's all these crazy disadvantages that Sasuke has and advantages that Jin has. I even, I even made up a weakness for Jin to help give him a nerf, like... The weakness to divine beings and deities and all that, that's never been stated in Tekken before. There's never been like, divine beings and angelic people are the weakness to the devil gene. There's never been any, there's never been any state, official statements of that. I've just taken that off of observation. Like, in Tekken Tag Tournament 2's ending, Angel burns Kazuya with a, a shockwave ability or something. And then, in their victory pose, Jun can hold back Devil Jin and all that kind of stuff, so it was just sort of observation. It wasn't it wasn't really like a stated weakness, so I tried to nerf Jin by giving him that weakness and in the end it still didn't help him it didn't help Sasuke because Sasuke doesn't have that divine attribute to him. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean Sasuke is stronger because of those crazy moon level feats and stuff and Sasuke's feats are more visual while Jin's is based on scaling, but the thing is, like, the strength gap isn't large enough to decide the outcome with the strength gap alone, so... Plus, Jin is, like, 2 million miles per hour faster with the calculations and stuff. In fact, even after I was done research researching this, even more new stuff came out about Jin that put him even farther ahead in the speed category, like... The laser I used, like, the laser jack tanked that created, like, that country-level explosion... Um, that's actually a speed feat because he actually reacted to it and all that kind of stuff. So, that's pretty, that's a pretty good speed feat. So, Jin's probably way fat, like, near fat. Jin's probably, like, sub-relativistic or maybe even higher, massively hypersonic. I, I don't know the exact calculations of that laser, but it definitely was faster than his flying feet. <laughs> I'll tell you that. So, yeah, they're both ex insanely powerful. But the thing is, Jin is a completely hard counter to Sasuke. Uh, so if if this was the first fight I did and Jin versus Sas and Jin did win, then for the next fight, I don't know who I'd do for if I continued the show and I had Jin fight again. I don't know who I would make Jin fight because I mean, definitely there are definitely people out there who can completely obliterate Jin. I'm not denying that at all. So many characters out there can totally obliterate Jin. He is far from the strongest. Sasuke's just not one of them, though. But I wanted to find a matchup where someone could beat Jin without it being a total stomp. Like, when it comes to Jin, he either he either beats people or gets completely decimated. There's no there's no sort of equal ground where Jin loses. He either wins or gets obliterated. So, if there's like some equal ground that Jin could still lose at, then I would be more than happy to do that matchup. But I don't, I don't like doing unfair matchups. The only reason Buzz vs. Fox happened is because... The only reason Buzz for, the only reason Buzz vs. Fox happened is because I didn't know Buzz was going to be that much more OP. <clears throat> but yeah, this is pretty much all I had to say on this matchup. It came out... It was a very bumpy road from the start of this research two years ago. And the outcome is definitely different than I initially thought it would be because I kept hearing Sasuke was OP, Sasuke was OP. But Jin counters the OPness with all his attributes and stuff. So, 
This is the final fictional fights commentary. Hope you liked it. Bye.